Hey guys, James Reeves with TFP TV Showtime. We are here in Nuremberg at EWA. It's our first trip to EWA. One of the cool things about EWA is you get to see companies that aren't at SHOT Show, companies that don't really have a presence in the United States, which means you get to see some cool guns that we don't necessarily get to see in the United States. So I'm here with Omar. Omar, tell us about the company you work for. What booth are we in right now? Well, Aktash company is a family company, family business. It was founded in uh, 1948. Last year, we decided to expand the company. Now we are two companies together. Aktash Sila is the defense company, and Aktash Shotguns is the one that has been making shotguns for so long. Sitting here in your booth, then I saw the shotgun, and I yeah. was like, UBS, that must mean underbarrel shotgun. Yeah, and yeah, correct. bear in mind, we could own this in the United States, but you know, a lot of paperwork and a lot of legal hassle. Tell us about this shotgun. You can have it in the United States. There are competitors making such guns. But uh, we see that those guns are mainly converted from basic shotguns. But this is a unique receiver, a square uh, receiver made for the rifles. Uh, and you can easily take the uh, stock out by loosening these screws here and simply attach it to the uh, rifle that has a picatinny rail under the uh, uh, for end. So this, this gun is 3 plus 1. Uh, you can shoot anything with this from let from lethal ones to non-lethal ammunition. Mm -hmm. It's a fun thing. Oh yeah, it seems like a fun thing. Omar, the handguard looks like it's 3D printed, is that correct? Yeah, that, that's cr correct. Uh, we like this design. Uh, we are preparing the mold for that. You know, it's a new product. I mean, I guess hypothetically then if I wanted to 3D print my own, I could, huh? Yeah, you can. And the barrel length, uh, you and I just looked at the brochure, it's like 8.7 inches, right? Yeah, it's almost 9 inches. Right? Yeah. Uh, now tell me about the compatibility with that chassis. You mentioned something when we were kind of well, off camera. This is exactly what we use for the grenade launcher, AK-4DGL. So it's a common part. When you use it, this will be a standalone gun. See, and that, that's what kind of caught my eye about this. It's like you can either buy this and use this as an underbarrel shotgun or, you know, if you, oh, right, or if you've got the grenade launcher chassis, then boom, it just all works together. And I can mount this like if I've got a quad rail on my AR-15 or what have you? Yeah, you can attach uh, on AR-15, AR-10. Okay, and when I purchase it, does it come with this grip module and the... Well, it's up to you. You can buy it with the uh, stock which is adjustable, telescopic, mm. and also the cheek part is adjustable, or you can buy it without it. And this looks like AR-15 furniture on here, right? So like an, if, if I want to change out the grip or the stock, it looks like AR-15 furniture? Yes, that's true. Uh, this grip, uh, this stock design is ours. Our, uh, the mold is unique. Mm -hmm. We are using the same on our grenade launchers and also our uh, 9mm pistol. Now what's the base for the shot. I know you said that, you know, the shotgun is is kind of one of a kind because you made this geometric shape so it would fit under a rifle specifically, but uh, does it borrow any other components from any other shotguns you make or popular shotguns? Yes, uh, the uh, the bolt here is from our pump actions, mm -hmm. basic shot pump actions. Also the nut is the same here and the trigger group exactly the same. Okay, so I could interchange parts if I bought this pump-action shotgun. What, what model shotgun is this? Well, our basic AP212 uh, pump-action. Okay. The same parts. And how much would this cost me if I was in a country where I could purchase this shotgun? Well, I cannot tell you the final price in the United States market, but the export price is like... Oh, like dollars? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, you know what, Omar? Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna you stuff that one in the backpack. I'm gonna give you dollars, <laughs> and we're gonna go. Omar, thank you so much for agreeing to this interview. Thanks and for visiting our booth. Oh. Thanks for your time. And thank you. And guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna be bringing you more Iwa from Nuremberg.